Coming up next on Today in South Florida, President Bush rallies his party and hopes to boost his campaign with a pledge to cut taxes. Coral Springs police make three more arrests in the beating death of a Vietnamese college student. Tragedy hits a Northwest Aid family when a five-month-old baby dies in a house fire. And firefighters finally get a hold on a blaze that's burning thousands of acres in Northern California. Today in South Florida is coming up next. want to be involved in the war on drugs but make no mistake if you're a parent you've been drafted call for a free parents guide to drug prevention 1-800-624-0100 in the 12 years that i've been an anchor and reporter i've seen a lot of bad things happen to people especially to children channel 4 and the more you know sponsors believe you can teach your child ways to avoid disaster Simple things like never taking candy from a stranger and knowing how to dial 911 are crucial to your child's safety. The more you know about raising a street smart kid, the safer your child will be. Watch our teamwork, Channel 4 News. From your 24 hour news source, this is Today in South Florida with Marianne Marciano. Bob Mayer, Bob Weaver Weather, Tony Segreto Sports, and the Channel 4 News Team. Good morning, everyone. I'm Marianne Murciano. And I'm Bob Mayer. And Bob Weaver just reminded me of something. It's the, Friday. Yes, but the open of the show is missing someone. That's it right. you, me, and Bob. I know. That's, That's right. A crucial part of yes. We have to go talk to somebody today to get... Poor Weavy the Weather Bird here in the uh, opening credits. I mean, after all. That's a all. good idea. Okay. But, you know, since he's a new member, relatively speaking, new member of our team. I right, bet, well. I bet he feels hurt. Yes, he does. Let's uh, see if he really feels hurt. Uh, Weavy, do you feel hurt? Yes, I sure do. You just left me out. What? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that thing there? Anyway, let me tell you what's happening today, folks. We're going to talk all about Andrew because things are really changing. Don't go away. Wake your friends up and your neighbors. <laughs> Call them up. Get them out of bed. It's going to be a good day here. Otherwise, hot afternoon thunderstorms. See you later before they cut me off. Make new friends, right? Huh? Wake everybody up and make new oh, friends. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll love it if you wake them up and tell them I'm going to tell you all about Andrew. And no, there are No more raggedy Andrew. Uh, uh, well, it's kind of half raggedy, Andrew, now, not so raggedy. And we're going to talk Speaking about that because, truthfully, uh, there are a lot of changes taking place that everyone should know about. Something to watch out for. And we're going to talk we'll about it. We'll get back to you later. Right. Thanks, Bob. Well, in the news today, the big parties are over. Now the final stretch of the campaign begins for the presidential candidates. President Bush closed out the Republican convention last night in Houston with a few blasts for Bill Clinton and a promise to cut taxes. Channel 4's Dave Bloom is at the Astrodome with the wrap-up. The first words out of his mouth were, let's go to work. And the president quickly went to work on rival Bill Clinton. This was not a kinder, gentler speech. And I guess you'd say his plan really is Elvis economics. America will be checking in to the Heartbreak Hotel. There were thinly veiled references to Bill Clinton's alleged draft dodging and marijuana use. And the president, who conceded that breaking his own no new taxes pledge was a mistake, said Clinton was proposing the biggest tax increase in history, $150 billion. But here's the question for the American people. Who do you trust in this election? The candidate who's raised taxes one time and regrets it, or the other candidate who raised taxes and fees 128 times and enjoyed it every time. The Clinton camp disputes those numbers, but there's no disputing that Americans looking for bold new ideas didn't find them in this speech. The president did say he'd propose an across-the-board tax cut, but didn't say which programs would be cut to pay for it. His one new idea? A checkoff box on tax returns that would shift money from paying for government programs to paying off the national debt. Mostly, Mr. Bush focused on his accomplishments, lower interest rates and lower inflation at home, the fall of communism abroad. 
My opponents say I spend too much time on foreign policy as if it didn't matter that school children once hid under their desk in drills to prepare for nuclear war. I saw the chance to rid our children's dreams of the nuclear nightmare, and I did. When it was over, for all the hoopla inside the Astrodome, most agreed the president hadn't struck out or hit a home run. He did define Bill Clinton as a tax and spend liberal. Carter, too. And if the label sticks, this race is far from over. They've been tearing down the Astrodome today, just as last night George Bush tried to tear down the democratically controlled Congress. In Houston, David Bloom for today in South Florida. Four and a half minutes after six now, the number of arrests is mounting in the beating death of Vietnamese student Nguyen Nguyen. Two brothers, William Madelone Jr. and Christopher A. Madelone, surrendered to police overnight. And last night, Carl Springs police arrested Derek Arthur Cosma. They'll be charged with the beating that killed Nguyen at a Carl Springs party over the weekend. So far, eight suspects are in custody. Police still expect to make more arrests. This must stop. This cannot happen. Asian Americans have to take note and say, no more. Those sentiments echoed by other Asian Americans gathered last night in North Miami. Nguyen's death, a major topic at the monthly meeting of the Asian American Federation. The gathering also attended by representatives of South Florida's black and Jewish communities. The Federation has announced a scholarship fund be set up in Nguyen's name. A five-month-old baby is the victim of a deadly house fire. The infant died while the parents were outside the house. Channel 4's Carrie Sanders has that story. A mother grieves for her five-month-old baby boy. She was walking to a nearby store. Her infant son, William Pinto, was at home with his stepfather. The stepfather's apparent mistake, leaving the baby asleep on the bed and heading outside, watching his wife walk down the street. He wanted to watch out for her safety, so he stepped outside into the street and was watching her go down the street. He says that when he turned around and looked back, at the house, he saw flames coming from the roof end. We're told the stepfather, whose hand is bandaged here, tried to smash out windows and save the baby, but he couldn't get in. Neighbors Jasmine and Robert Hernandez dialed 911. I was very scared. I was ashamed. I was just holding the baby yesterday. <laughs> and he just got his shots, too. <laughs> When firefighters arrived, flames were shooting out the roof. We were told at dispatch that there was a child invo involved trapped inside the home. When you got here, was there anything you could do to get in there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We couldn't have done anything for that particular child. Neighbors say it's a senseless tragedy, a death that didn't have to be. We understand that the reason the husband left the house was to watch his wife walk down the street because he was afraid she might get mugged. We don't have that many muggings on this street. Uh, there's no reason that a baby should be left alone. I have grandkids. This is my baby granddaughter here, and we never go anywhere and leave her in the house alone. I'm Kerry Sanders for today in South Florida. A 10-month-old baby is in critical condition this morning after nearly drowning in a bucket of cleaning fluid. The infant's 9-year-old sister found him upside down in the bucket. Family members believe the child accidentally climbed in. Police are investigating. And police are calling a drowning in Hallandale an accident. A 2-year-old girl died after falling into a backyard swimming pool. Investigators say Joanne Coven was being cared for by a babysitter when she fell in. The child was the granddaughter of Hallandale's fire battalion chief. Eight minutes after six, the first tropical storm of the season getting stronger, not weaker, as he was yesterday. Andrew now has top winds of up to 60 miles an hour. But where is he heading, and can he keep up his strength? Only one man and one bird can give us the answer. And let's go to them now. Well, we're going to take a look at all of that for you and uh, try to give you an idea. The only man who can tell us, right? As to what's that. That's true. He, he, knows, he knows what he's talking about. That's right. That's you. Oh, me. That's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I'm going to uh, try to do it all. Let's let's get right to it this time because okay. there's a lot to talk about. Okay. And, uh, you Should know. Should we be afraid? Uh, we've Should got we? to put the metal to the pedal, as they say. Okay. Uh, temperature right now is 81 degrees. The relative humidity, 82%. The wind's out of the northeast at about 5. And the barometer is 30.05 and steady. And no rain in the rain gauge. Miami International Airport right now. 
is 81 degrees. Miami Beach is 83. Fort Lauderdale, 82. Kendall, 77. And West Palm Beach is 76 degrees. All right, the first thing uh, we do now is take a look at everything. Here is Andrew getting stronger. Now, if you take a good look at it, there it is right there. It's still moving northwest at about 12 miles per hour. If you are charting at home, 24.3 north, 63.7 west. Now, that puts Andrew about, uh, oh, let's say 430 miles north-northeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico, still about 1,000 miles from Miami. The highest winds now are up to 60 miles per hour, and probably it's going to get even stronger. Now, what's it going to do? Right now, I will just give you a guesstimate what it's going to do. It's going to continue northwest for a while. There's now a ridge building in from the north. That's going to stop its northward progress and eventually may turn it, at least for a short while, towards the west. And so if that happens, of course, we're going to have to be even more alert. So I just uh, tell everyone over the weekend to keep watching. We have early morning news shows. You get up early, you'll know exactly what's going on. And in fact, uh, if it does become a danger, we'll have even extra news shows for you. Now, here is what's happening throughout the state. If you're traveling, if you're going up to Disney World, a few afternoon showers, thunderstorms, some of those lasting into the evening, the heaviest over North Florida. Here's the rest of it. Our forecast, the winds uh, today out of the east at about 10, seas about two feet, water's near shore, a light chop. Temperature of the water getting hot out there, about 87 degrees. And the forecast, partly sunny. Look for some showers and thunderstorms. By the way, folks, there are showers right along the coast this morning, and uh, the eye in some sections a little bit wet, so be extra careful while you're driving in. See, he reads the paper. He reads the paper it. while I'm on all the so time. So I can impart information. What was the temperature? Woody Allen passed a lie detector test, said he did not molest his seven-year-old. We're going to get to that story a little oh, bit later. That's... You were talking about the the programs that we're going to have over the weekend. Yeah. That's our new Today in South Florida right. show with Gail Bright this weekend and Brian Allen. And... and, and it's in the morning on right. Saturday. And then, uh, if necessary, we put extra ones on. We keep right. everybody informed. Sure and the information on the time now, 11 everybody minutes after happy. 6 o'clock. Just ahead right here, we'll tell you how firefighters are doing in the battle against massive brush fires in California. And don't buy a ticket before we let you know what's new at South Florida Theaters. Today, South Florida is coming right back, so don't go away. Home Depot is now open in Cutler Ridge at Marlin Drive and US-1. And now, America's most exciting home improvement warehouse can serve you even better. You'll see exciting displays, aisle after aisle of name brand products, including Linzer. For professional results, paint with Linzer paint brushes and rollers. And for a watertight seal that resists mildew, use Quick Seal Tub and Tile Caulk from DAP. So visit the new Cutler Ridge Home Depot at Marlin Drive and US-1. It's another runaway bestseller from Ford. We wrote the book on value. Lease Ford Taurus L for about $2.49 a month for 24 months. Only 24 months. Complete with driver's side airbag, air conditioning, V6 engine, automatic overdrive transmission, and more. Plus, Ford has the only cars in this class that offer dual airbags. Get a 24-month lease on a Ford Taurus for only $2.49 a month. And in two years, bring it back for a brand new runaway bestseller from your South Florida Ford dealers. Another great value from Ford. Gotta know the weather? Call the 4 News Weather Phone. It pay 358-8000, code 4444. In Brown, it's 731-7000, code 4444. It's free at a service of the Real Talk Yellow Pages and Channel 4 News, your 24-hour news source. Come fly with us this summer. The Miami Seaquarium presents the Bungie Flying Spectacular, the only show of its kind anywhere. See exciting, synchronized bungee thrills exclusively at the Miami Seaquarium. And after the show, you can experience the thrill of flying. Plus, enjoy all of our fabulous shows and exhibits. The Miami Seaquarium. We put the wow back in water. If you haven't talked to your kids about drugs, make an appointment. Yo, Mom, what's up? weather. Know when it's coming with four Storm Strike Lightning Tracker. Storm Strike shows you lightning as it happens, where it happens. But Channel 4 Storm Center tracks it, and four Storm Strike shows when it hits home. Don't wait to find out bad weather's coming your way. Get it first with four Storm Strike, exclusively on Channel 4 News. 
From your 24-hour news source, Channel 4 News continues. 13 and a half, almost 14 now past 6 o'clock. Firefighters finally winning their battle with a wind-driven blaze in Northern California. The old Gulch fire has burned across 17,000 acres in the Sierra Nevada foothills. About 14,000 people have been chased from their homes. But now officials say the blaze is 80% contained. No rest yet, though. A new wildfire broke out in heavy timber last night, about 50 miles north. Well, life is returning to normal in Anchorage, Alaska, where the city was buried under a cloud of volcanic ash. Mount Spur erupted earlier this week, sending a huge black plume of ash and smoke six miles into the sky. The blanket of ash brought Anchorage to a virtual standstill, but now all airports and businesses have reopened and thousands of stranded tourists can head home. Time to take a look at the morning's business headlines. For the very latest, Mark Haynes. Tokyo share prices shot through the roof today as they continue their month-long roller coaster ride. The Nikkei average soared 950 points, closing at 16,216.88. That's a gain of more than 6%. In London, the Financial Times 100 index opened up from yesterday's close, trading starting at 2362.9. The dollar opened mixed against the other major currencies, and London gold opened down from its close in New York. On Wall Street, the Dow in the August doldrums at 3304. 4.89 this morning, the industrial average slipping two points yesterday. Ameritech, the parent of phone companies in five Midwestern states, is cutting its management staff by 12%. 2,500 managers will be eliminated by next spring. The company will offer early retirement to some workers. The rest will be given pink slips this October. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation loses its well-respected leader. 53-year-old William Taylor died yesterday. He's being remembered as a bridge builder who brought Democrats and Republicans together on the issue of bank regulation. And that's the business brief for this morning. I'm Mark Haynes. 16 past 6 o'clock now. Time for our first live check on the morning rush hour with Joe Brennan. All right, and a busy one it has been overnight this morning, uh, Bob. We've still got a lot of problems out there, including a northbound accident, 95 north of Miami Gardens Drive. Two left lanes are blocked there. Several vehicles involved and in, uh, apparently some serious injuries, so it could be a while before it clears out. Not too bad a delay through the area right now, though, and that's the, the best news. Another accident westbound 122nd Street, just west of the Palmetto, left lane blocked. Also a collision on Bird Road at Galloway. It's wet in a lot of places all through Dade and Broward County, so maybe leave some uh, extra time or leave a little early early for that extra time on your way in this morning. And that's a check of Channel 4 News traffic. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Joe. You know what I want to know? Did Bob what? Weaver make us the vanilla bean coffee today? You mean the leftover from Tony? <laughs> yes. I don't think so. <laughs> no. No, this one has the grounds in it. What's... And it doesn't taste like vanilla grounds. Oh, some people drink coffee with the grounds. No, I mean, in the it. grounds, like, they come over the, you know, that piece they of paper. They float up. They float up. And... Hmm. Are, you, uh, are you drinking? Are we done? <laughs> Are you drinking the coffee from today? I think so. I th you think I have grounds to complain? No, well, that's because uh, nobody really has made it for about a week. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, here we are. We take a look at Andrew. Now, Andrew is about uh, 430 miles north-northeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's moving towards the uh, northwest at about 15 miles per hour. It, that could change later on. It could make a little turn to the west temporarily, but we'll keep an eye on it. The winds are 60 miles per hour right now. If you're traveling around the country, the northeast is just beautiful around New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, but over the south, a lot of heavy showers and thunderstorms and temperatures around the country. Look how chilly it is up to the north. You need a sweater or jacket in the morning. 65 Minneapolis, 47 at Syracuse, 60 at New York, 50 at Chicago. The afternoon temperatures are a little bit better. They get back up to about 82 at Chicago, 80 New York, 79 Richmond, 81 at Amarillo, 80 at uh, Dallas, 107 at Phoenix, LA is 83. The west is still hot and the east is generally on the mild side. Briefly, if you look at the radar, here it's, uh, we have showers along the coast. Drive carefully if you're coming in. Next four days, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday. Today's Friday. And for the next week, partly sunny, afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures are going to be uh, generally in the 90-degree range. Yesterday it was 93. You can look for almost a carbon copy today. The only difference now, the winds uh, will be a little more easterly, so look for night and morning showers. And as I said, there are showers right along the coast. Drive carefully when you're coming in. 
All right, thank you, Bob. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Time now, 618 and a half. Coming up next on the Channel 4 News, we'll tell you what's new at South Florida theaters. And can anyone cool off the Red Hot Brave? Tony yeah, has yeah. all the major league scores and highlights next, right here. On Channel 4. When it comes to bringing you the pick of the crop, Publix goes the extra mile. Compare our price on tasty, nutritious bananas. Just 25 cents a pound. We bring you the best. Whether it means going down the road or to the ends of the earth. The steak is seasoned with 16 spices and seared to perfection at precisely 400 degrees. The Cabernet is imported from the finest Australian vineyard. Where will you find this superb meal without the fancy trappings or price? Down under at Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. It was a big country with big men and big women. So what are you, about 6'2"? And they really struck it big with Mazda Mania 2 where you can get $1,300 cash back from Mazda on a new Mazda base truck. It's the big sales event of the summer. Now you can afford to ride in the front. Uh, well, uh, well, well, now then. Speak uh, up. We're trying to sell trucks. Uh, Don't miss Mazda Mania 2. Get $1,300 cash back on a new Mazda truck now. News track. Like nothing you've ever seen. News track. Faster to breaking news. The closest crew is going to be live three. It should be about 10 minutes away. News track. Exclusively on Channel 4 News. News track. A computer that tracks our news crews. News track. And gets them to stories first. Channel 4 News. Tonight on 4 News Now at 5. Phone fraud. You could be a victim. We're conducting an investigation in order to trap a telephone scam artist. Stop crooks from stealing your money over the phone on 4 News Now at 5. Also, crime on the streets and in your home. Are you making it easy for criminals to get what they want? He doesn't have to go very far before he will find the opportunity that he's looking for. Put an end to the windows of opportunity. Watch Channel 4 News tonight, beginning at 5. Real life, real news. From your 24-hour news source, Channel 4 News continues. 621 right now. Two Miami Hurricanes are planning some strategy off the field. They had their day in court yesterday. Tony Segretos tells us how it went. Good morning, everyone. You know, when it comes to football, Miami Hurricane wide receiver Lamar Thomas and running back Jason Marucci know what to do. But going before a federal judge in, is a different ballgame altogether, especially when they assumed their attorneys had handled all of their legal problems. Now, apparently those attorneys didn't do their job because if they had, neither player would have had to deal with our judicial system yesterday. Like other students and athletes involved in the Pell Grant scandal, both players were offered an option to enter into a pre-trial diversion program, which would have cleared their names of any criminal wrongdoing. Both thought they had accepted the option, but that wasn't the case. The is that Lamar had retained a lawyer uh, in Gainesville through his parents, and that lawyer did not follow through. And that lawyer did not contact anyone, which left Lamar in a very untenable position of not being in the program. We have four Marucci's attorney, John Gale, would only say he's negotiating with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Both players have asked to be placed into the program. The government will respond in a week. Notre Dame officials admit to some wrongdoing uh, yesterday by football player Demetrius DeBose. It appears the senior linebacker accepted gifts in a loan, an NCAA no-no from a couple in his hometown of Seattle. The NCAA should rule sometime next week whether DuBose is eligible to play his senior season. The Miami Dolphins have a new player on their roster. He's former Denver Bronco tight end Orson Mobley. A Palmetto High graduate and FSU grad didn't play any football last year but spent the past five seasons in Denver. Regular season hockey is coming to South Florida. The New York Rangers will meet the Tampa Bay Lightning at the Miami Arena December the 9th. It's a step by the league to expose the National Hockey League to areas that would otherwise never see a live hockey game. It appeared the Atlanta Braves would win their third straight game over Montreal last night. David Justice's second inning blast put the Braves on top one to nothing. The Bravos then took a two nothing lead into the ninth, but veteran Tim Wallach would not allow the Expos to be swept. First, this two run double to the center field wall tied the game. Then some heads up base running. Check this out. Two down. Wallach will score all the way from second on this. Ooh, excuse me, hit by Will Cordero. Wallach will beat Sid Green's throw home. The Expos avert a sweep, beating Atlanta the final three to two. 
We've seen John McEnroe on bad behavior before. Yesterday, the bad boy of tennis was at it again. This is absolutely, this may have been one of the worst things I've ever seen McEnroe do. Volvo International Tennis Tournament, he just tips the television camera over in disgust, roundly booed by fans. You can hear the booing. Listen. Yeah, they don't like it much. McEnroe went on to win the match over Thierry Guardiola, but lost a few fans in the process. And that'll do it for sports in our first half hour. The next half hour is Friday morning, which means just one thing another edition of the Tonys. Everybody just can't wait, including our guest teleprompter operator this morning. That's right. You're talking about a high-priced teleprompter operator. One of our news producers, Fred Silverman, is here. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. That's Fred way in the back. In fact, he even made the coffee this morning. He knew it was the job of the person who's running the teleprompter. Next time, you should probably use a coffee filter, but nonetheless, it's not that bad. <laughs> we'll see you in about 28 minutes. I've seen McEnroe do some weird things, but that yeah, I don't I understand mean, why they just don't eject him from the game see, and knock him over a TV tennis, camera. Tennis, tennis is the only game. Camera. Tennis is the only game where you can get away with that. Golf, baseball, football, you can't get away with that. That's like a, you you're know, not it was a one hundred thousand dollar camera, I heard. It's incredible. <laughs> That's right. I mean it's, it's like a it's spoiled bread. Twenty five minutes terrible. after the hour now. A bored housewife spices up her life with murder. It's just a movie. Theme of a flick opening at South Florida theaters over the weekend. Penelope Ann Miller stars in The Gun in Betty Lou's Handbag. She gets her husband's attention by confessing to murder, but finds out the mob wants to get a hold of her. Other films include Christopher Columbus, the big budget epic with Marlon Brando, and Rapid Fire, a martial arts movie starring Bruce Lee's son, Brandon. Time now, 26 minutes after the hour. That's right. This is Today in South Florida. Oh, how about that? What How else? about that? We're going to be right back, but first we have those lottery numbers for oh, you. Oh, boy. Yes. Well, here, right. I hope everybody Two wins. Cash 3074. The play 4, 8832. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Cliff here at IHOP. Some people feel just too silly ordering IHOP's Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity Breakfast. <laughs> I mean, it is a goofy name for two eggs, two bacon, two sausage, and two pancakes with your choice of fruit topping. But you'd have to be a real wimp to be embarrassed by something like that. I'll have the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity Breakfast. Nobody does breakfast like IHOP does breakfast. <laughs> Coffee, too. Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity, just $3.99. That's $3.99 Monday through Saturday at your IHOP now. With Toyotathon summer clearance. That's right, Squire, and the deals just keep getting better. Take advantage of great deals on the Paseo with a terrific low starting price. It's hard to believe. Toyotathon is the best time of the year to get a great car. It, traditionally, it's the best time. Also, it's the end of the year. Or save on Tercel, America's lowest price sedan. Now with factory incentives and cash back. Save during Toyotathon summer clearance. The best time to save is now. Hey, kids, it's back to school time. You hear that? No. Well, hear this. Save on Mervyn's Cheetah for Kids in time for back to school. I heard it again. We're going to have to get your ears checked. Check out the savings on Cheetah tops and bottoms. Yeah, I heard them say back to school. Nothing. Save on our entire stock of Cheetah for Boys and Girls for back to school. Sure is quiet tonight, isn't it? If you say so. Save on Kids Cheetah through Saturday at Mervyn's. If a hurricane hits our area, Southern Bell crews will be on the street and service will be restored as soon as possible. That's because we know what to expect and we're prepared. You should be prepared for a hurricane too. That's why again this year, Southern Bell is working with WTVJ to get this hurricane brochure we produced into your hands. It tells you what to expect, what supplies you'll need, what to do after a storm hits, and it includes a tracking map. You can get one at any South Florida Home Depot or Pizza Hut.
Hi, I'm Ileana Bravo. Channel 4 and Discovery Cruise Line urge you to help the American Red Cross by giving blood this summer, a time when blood supplies are extremely low. If you donate blood, you could be one of 5,000 people selected to sail free on South Florida's favorite one-day cruise, Discovery. Some restrictions apply. Call 1-800-GIVE-LIFE. Everyone's heading back to the beach for Friday Night Live. Channel 4 invites you to this week's free concert, 50 Sensation by Dell Vikings, 8 p.m. South Point Park. From your 24-hour news source, Channel 4 News continues. Good morning, everybody. I'm Bob Mayer. And I'm Marianne Murciano. It is 629 Friday, August 21st. Topping our news this morning, three more arrests are made in the beating deaths of, in the beating death of a Vietnamese pre-med student. The Asian American community plans to take action after the wrongful death of Nguyen Nguyen. A tragedy hits home when a victim of a fire turns out to be a five-month-old baby. And President Bush sneaks in a surprise move to launch his campaign from Houston. We'll have more on those stories and a whole lot more in just a minute, but first we'll check in with the bird. Did yeah. you uh, watch the convention last night? Did you watch well, the I want to Well, I wanted to watch. I watched until late at night. I fell asleep. But still, it's been keeping me up late at night. I wanted to see the president's speech. And uh, the same thing happened to me in the Olympics. I stayed up very late later than I really should for getting up early. Then I fell asleep and missed a lot of you it. You know, in the, we, in the studio all morning, we've been hearing this chirping noise. We thought it was a smoke detector. It, what was Turns it? Turns out it was weavy. Really? Yeah. No, it was, it was he doesn't uh, smoke. Brian Norcross at the map. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Weavy, what's cooking this morning? Ooh. Well, I want to tell you all about Andrew. Uh, Semi-reggedy Andy, but uh, in the meantime, I should tell you, it's going to be a good day. Sunshine, watch out, folks, driving in. Some of the roads are a wee bit wet. Get Drive slowly, leave early. Four score and seven years ago. Hook. Get the hook. Oh. <laughs> well, I, he wanted to <laughs> say a lot, but uh, I'm going to give you all the information on Andrew. There's a lot to be said. There are changes taking place, so I'll do that in a little while. All right, thank you, Bob. Three more suspects in custody in the beating death of Luen Nguyen, a Vietnamese pre-med student. Two brothers, William Madelone Jr. and Christopher Madelone, surrendered to police overnight. And last night, Carl Springs police arrested Derek Arthur Cosma. They'll be charged with the beating that killed Nguyen at a Carl Springs party over the weekend. So far, eight suspects are in custody. Police still expect more arrests to come. Friends of Nguyen, meantime, are demanding justice for the wrongful death of their peer. Members of the Asian American community say they are not going to take this one sitting down. Channel 4's Ari Adzer was at a meeting last night in North Miami. This must stop. This cannot happen. Asian Americans have to take note and say, no more. No more passive acceptance of discrimination. We are as American as anybody else, one speaker said. The outrageous murder of Lu Yen Nguyen has galvanized the Asian American community. And what is so frightening is that the crowd of about 50 people stood there, motionless, doing nothing to help. We go into the ocean to save nothing. We go into the forest to save rare, extinguished species. At the same token, we don't know what is the real value of the human life. It is a reminder how short the distance is between hatred and homicide. This monthly meeting of the Asian American Federation had a special sense of urgency. Representatives from the black and Jewish communities, all too familiar with hate crimes, extended hands of solidarity and support. We need to care for one another if in a multicultural community we are to survive humanely and cooperatively. One speaker said American society, all of us, failed Nguyen saying this is supposed to be a melting pot, but bigotry is somehow allowed to persist. Our silence has only caused us to reap a bitter harvest. They won't be silent anymore. The Asian American Federation plans to pay tribute to Nguyen, perhaps through a scholarship fund in his name. They want Nguyen's legacy to be a positive one, for his death to somehow help to prevent hate crimes from happening. I'm Ari Odzer for Today in South Florida. A five-month-old baby is dead this morning, the victim of a fire at a Northwest Dade house. It all happened at 1737 Northwest 112th Terrace last night. The baby's stepfather says he was outside watching the mother walk to a nearby store to ensure her safety. While they were both outside, the house became engulfed in flames with the baby inside. The stepfather tried to rescue the baby but couldn't get in the house. 
officials don't know what caused the fire. A 10-month-old child is in critical condition today after nearly drowning in a bucket of cleaning fluid. The infant's nine-year-old sister found him upside down in the bucket yesterday. Family members believe the child accidentally climbed in Police are investigating. And in Hallandale, yet another tragic story. A two-year-old girl is dead after drowning in a backyard pool. Investigators say Joanne Coven was being cared for by a babysitter when she fell in. Police have ruled it an accident. The child was, in, was the granddaughter of the Hallandale Fire Battalion Chief. 634 now. They helped the self-proclaimed son of God run a murderous campaign of terror. And now they have finally faced their judgment day. A Fort Lauderdale judge sentenced Yahweh Ben Yahweh followers Job and Judith Israel to 16 years in jail yesterday, both found guilty in the racketeering conspiracy murder trial of the religious leader. His sentencing was delayed until September 4th. President Bush promising to take the axe to taxes across the board if he's reelected this November. It was a surprise move designed to blast his languishing campaign off the launching pad and capped the four-day Republican National Convention in Houston. Sandy Gilmore has more from the Astrodome. And I'm honored to accept your nomination for President of the United States. The President did not offer any tantalizing new vision or cures for domestic problems, including the economy. Instead, he defended his record, making no apologies for spending so much time on foreign affairs, making the world safer, he said. He compared his leadership in the Gulf War with Clinton's early stand. What about the leader of the Arkansas National Guard? The man who, the man who hopes to be commander in chief. Well, I bit the bullet and he bit his nails. The president promised to work for across the board income tax cuts when Congress convenes next January. He said they would be paid for by proposed spending cuts. It was an apology for breaking his no new taxes pledge of four years ago, which he called a mistake. Who do you trust in this election? The candidate who's racked, raised taxes one time and regrets it, or the other candidate who raised taxes and fees 128 times and enjoyed it every time? He called Clinton's economic plan a disaster. And I guess you'd say his plan really is Elvis economics. America will be checking in to the Heartbreak Hotel. For his part, Vice President Quayle sought to turn around his image, saying he came from a modest Midwestern background of basic values, adding his critics tried to destroy him. I stand before you and before the American people, unbowed, unbroken, and ready to keep fighting for our beliefs. The nominees came together for the grand finale as new polls showed them closing the gap on their opponents. The president and vice president will lose no time looking for votes. They begin campaigning in the Deep South this morning. Sandy Gilmore, NBC News, Houston. And of course, Clinton and Gore heading on an, another bus capade beginning today. And the president is also going to do uh, some stronger campaigning. Yes. He originally wasn't going to. If you remember what he said originally, you know, he was going to take it easy. But Well, the gap uh, is closing now. Well, the gap is closing in the election. Uh, earlier, the polls were showing it wasn't going his way. So uh, what he said, now he's going to do some uh, strenuous campaigning. Hmm. I hear no. some uh, music I hear possibly music. starting. Happy there birthday. There Happy go. birthday to Joe L. Talley of Davie, who celebrates his 38th birthday birthday today. This wish is from Aunt Virginia. Happy birthday to Akeem Jamal Anderson of Miami, turning three years old today. This wish from Mommy and Brother Xavier. And happy birthday to Christina Medrano. She's cute. She's going to be 15 years old on Sunday. She's a sophomore at Southwest Miami Senior High, where she is active in sports, and she watches us and Weavy every day. This wish is from her sister, Patty, her mom and stepdad, stepsister, Karina, dog, Tippy, and cat, Mary, and Bob, and Bob, and Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> and good morning. You know, I met a very nice family at Sears, and uh, so I'm going to say good morning to Nick and Sean Russo. I enjoyed meeting you all at Sears. I was just browsing and looking around. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look and see what the very latest is now on Andrew. Now, first of all, uh, why don't we do that? There it is. All right. You see Andrew there. Now, the arrow is pointing to the northwest at about 12 miles per hour. That's about where it is. It's about 
oh, let's say uh, over 400 miles north, northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico, around 1,000 miles east of Miami. And look at the winds now, up to 60 miles per hour. But here is the projection, and this is why I tell everyone to keep watching over the weekend. Not that there's uh, any immediate danger or anything like that, but because I think there's a block building up to the north. If that continues to build, the storm cannot go any more to the north, and there's a distinct possibility that it may take a short-term trek towards uh, the west, which is in our direction. So uh, we're going to keep watching it, and so should you all over the weekend. Remember, we have shows all morning long over the weekend, and uh, we'll put some more in there if we have to, so you keep watching. That's about it. So there's still a chance we could get this thing. Well, I mean, there's always that chance. You know, I, I don't want to say that now because anything could happen. But, uh, of course, you, when, it, uh, when you think it's going to turn in your direction, then you say, yes, there's And these a, things have been known to actually head in a direction and turn around. Uh, that's happened once. I remember years ago, one went way past this. I, was that Beulah? I don't remember. But it turned completely around and came all the way back and came across. What about the one that hit Cuba two or three times, the same storm? Well, yeah. Remember that one? See, they can do almost anything uh, uh, unbelievable. They're thing. acrobats. Just gotta huh? stay tuned, folks. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, another acrobat here, Joe Brennan. He's watching traffic for us. You've got to be an acrobat to keep in touch with our traffic situation, right, Joe? You may need those skills out on the roadways today. Boy, I tell you, it could help. Uh, northbound 95, now two separate accidents approaching, Mir or actually just north of Miami Gardens Drive on the approach to Ives Dairy Road, and it looks like uh, pretty bad stuff through that area. They keep opening or closing lanes down through the area. At this point, it looks like only one right lane is open now, so it is, as you can imagine, a slow go through the area north of the GGI. Also, a collision westbound on one 22nd Street west of 826. The Palmetto has the left lane blocked at last check and still one clearing northbound 95 north of 62 Street. Broward a little better off. No new accidents there, but still wet and all over Dade and Broward counties this morning. And let's look at Channel 4 News traffic. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. Time now, 20 minutes before 7 o'clock. Still to come on the Channel 4 News, the latest news and a pair of scandals, not sandals. Will we be seeing more of Fergie? You bet. Later today we will. And did Mia turn violent in her battle against Woody Allen? We'll have the answers when Today in South Florida comes right back at 640. Channel 4 Weather is brought to you this morning by Rolladen, the ultimate defense system. Nothing comes easy in life. A comfortable home and special possession should be a source of worry-free enjoyment. But in this world, life is unpredictable. Burglary, vandalism, violent storms and hurricanes could destroy everything you've worked for. Roladen Storm and Security Shutters provide security. For over 25 years, Roladen's complete line of shutter systems have offered peace of mind. Call Roladen, 1-800-SHUTTER. Shut out the unpredictable. David Holt is always looking for ways to cut costs for his customers. Compare Cottonelle bathroom tissue. Three four-roll packages for $2. Get more value at Publix. When it comes to bringing you the best, David Kite goes the extra mile. Compare Publix USDA Choice Bottom Round Roast, just $1.69 a pound. Get more value at Publix. Hot. Hotter. Hottest. Good. Great. Gotta know the latest in sports? Call the 4 News Sports Hotline in Dade 358-8000, code 4444. In Broward, 731-7000, code 4444. It's free and a service of the Real Talk Yellow Pages and Channel 4 News, your 24-hour news source. See your world through Sally's eyes. Get a different point of Sally, Jesse, Raphael, starting Monday at 4 on Channel 4. For those of you who have been reluctant to wear a hearing aid, Miracle Ear has more great news. If you have trouble hearing in noisy situations, the exciting Miracle Ear Clarifier may be your answer. 
I used to dread going out with my friends. Background noise kept me from joining in the conversation. But the Miracle Ear Clarifier reduces background noise. Call this number. Miracle Ear will send you a booklet on better hearing, plus a coupon for a free hearing test. Learn about all the good news from Miracle Ear. From your 24-hour news source, Channel 4 News continues. 6.43 right now, London Sun newspapers promising fresh new pictures of Fergie this morning. The tabloid expects to top these shots of the Duchess of York with a brand new set splattered all across the newspaper today. The photos show Fergie and American millionaire Johnny Bryan vacationing in the French Riviera. Yesterday's Britain royal family released a statement lashing out at the media. Woody Allen and Mia Farrow's feud has sent chairs uh, flying. A source says Farrow reacted destructively when she heard Allen and her daughter were having an affair. Farrow smashed her 21-year-old adopted daughter, Soon Yi, with a chair and cut her off financially. But Farrow's spokesperson says the two women have made up. Time now to get some advice on battling our finances. There's still time to get back money on your used airline tickets, and some banks are turning to gimmicks to attract new savers. Money expert Steve Crowley with that. Just as bargains begin to abound on destinations including Europe, the Caribbean, and Bermuda this summer and fall, a class action lawsuit against major U.S. airlines is being settled for allegedly fixing ticket prices. Ten million forms are being mailed out. If you bought tickets from January 1st, 1988 through June 30th, 1992 on American, Continental, Delta, Midway, Northwest, Pan Am, TWA, United, or U.S. Air, you could be entitled to part of the $458 million that might well be rebated for travel through 34 hub cities. Now, if you did travel during this period and didn't get your refund packet in the mail by now, here's the address to write. Send your name and address to Airline Antitrust Litigation, P.O. Box 267, Pensauken, New Jersey, 08110-0267. Next, bank rates are down as low as 3%, averaging only 4.5% on two and a half year CDs. So several banks are tacking on enticing gimmicks. Example, Bank of Boston just introduced the 5% two year Washington CD. It goes up one quarter of a percentage point after election day, no matter who wins. Many big New York banks are tying CD rates to everything from stock indexes to Latin American debt. The good news, the money is FDIC insured and the rates are slightly higher. But read the fine print should your local bank start offering similar options. And finally, not the who's on first routine, but who's on a single. A recent ATM-based poll has discovered fewer than one in 16 Americans and named the faces on the popular one, five, 10, and $20 bills. Here they are, one second apiece. I've added the 50 and 100 because of inflation. Can you name them all? Also, 25% of all Americans would like to see a more recent famous face on paper money, from JFK to Elvis. We thought we'd let you see what this would look like. Steve Crowley, Channel 4 News. 6.46 right now, yes, 14 minutes before 7 o'clock. Coming up next on the Channel 4 News, Bob Weaver. He's going to be back with a furry friend. He's not so furry, but he's really cute, and you can adopt him. Well, he's got some fur. But first, sit down and get in on the fun. The Tony's your next day this. Levitt's big stock reduction sale is loaded with hundreds of furniture bargains. Like these best-selling sofa values. Only $399 buys this white-on-white -white pillow back or this pastel print sofa. Only $499 buys this ruffled skirt floral print cotton sofa. And only $599 buys this garden print camelback sofa. Now at Levitt's. you love it at Levitt's. Tire Kingdom. The tires you need. The fastest service satisfaction guarantee. Absolute lowest prices. You get more for less. So try Tire Kingdom the best. Today, Eckerd Brand had a very busy day. Because today, about 562,000 people relied on Eckerd Brand products to make them feel better. How well did they work? 
Just listen. Today, thousands will trust Eckerd brand and acid because their Eckerd pharmacist recommends it or because of the good housekeeping seal. But about 9,000 people will take it because the home team lost again. America's most wanted are Ford's best-selling cars and trucks. In fact, every year for the past five years, Ford has had the best-selling cars and trucks in America. And now you can lease America's best-selling full-size pickup, Ford F-150, for about $198 a month for 24 months. Not 60, not 48, only 24 months. Complete with air, AM, FM, stereo, and more for $198 a month. Quality, value, and price. Lease a new 92 Ford F-150 at your South Florida Ford dealer today and drive away with what America wants most, Ford quality, value, and price. Then the cotangent of X equals channel 4. We've got your number because the Florida Lottery can only be seen on WTVJ channel 4. From your 24-hour news source, channel 4 news continues. 11 minutes before 7 o'clock. You know, Friday wouldn't seem right without a good shot at the Tonys. Here is Tony. Good morning again, everyone. Well, Danny, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you sure? <laughs> Fred, you ready? Jeff, you ready? Terry, you ready? Friday morning, it can only mean one thing, the wild and wacky side of life. That's right, folks. It's a doggone good version of this morning's Tony's and man's best friend. Maybe he's man's best friend, but he's not too friendly when the little tyke tries to ride him and throws him off. Rule number one in bullfighting, never, ever, ever, ever wear red because it'll change your voice. Our home improvement Tony tip, make sure you have the remote control handy when working on the garage door. This is something I would do. I'm that handy. Dude, I'd forget something like that. The newest sushi bar in California. You just eliminate the middleman. You catch the fish.